Hello everyone, this is Tim. We're reading from Faces of the Bottom of the Well. And I usually try to read about five minutes or so. I'm thinking about extending that, but we'll see. Because these things are so good, sometimes just a page or two is all you need. But let's get into it. Professor Golightly, the chairman, interrupted. The time we have allotted you has almost expired. The delegates here are weary and anxious to return to their homes so that they can assist their families through this crisis. The defense plans we have formulated are our best effort. Sir, if you have a better way, let us hear it now. Golightly nodded. I promise to be brief and I will. Although you have labored here unselfishly, to devise a defense against what is surely the most dangerous threat to our survival since our forebears were kidnapped from Africa's shores. I think I have a better way, and I urge you to hear it objectively and without regard to our past differences. The question is how best to counter an offer that about a third of the voters would support, even if the space traders offered America nothing at all. Another third may vacillate, but we both know that in the end, they will simply not be able to pass up a good deal. The only way we can deflect and perhaps reverse a process is virtually certain to result in approval of the space traders offer is to give up the oppositional stance you are about to adopt and forthrightly urge the country to accept the space traders offer. Man, it's it's <laughs> so much like today. <clears throat> he passed, looking out over the sea of faces. <clears throat> then there was a clamor of outrage, outrage cries, sellout, traitor, and ultimate Uncle Tom. The chairman banged his gavel in an effort to restore order. Uh, seemingly unmoved by the outburst, go lightly waited until the audience quieted, then continued. A major, perhaps the principal, motivation for racism in this country is the deeply held belief that black people should not have anything that white people don't have. Not only do whites insist on better jobs, higher incomes, better schools and neighborhoods, better everything, but they also usurp aspects of our culture. They have taken our blues and gone, to quote Langston Hughes, songs that sprang from our very subordination. Whites exploit not only our music, but our dance, language, patterns, dress and hairstyles as well. Even the badge of our inferior status, our color, is not sacrosanct. Whites spend billions a year to emulate our skin tones, paradoxically as a sign of their higher status. So whites' appropriation of what is ours and their general acqui acquisitiveness are facts. Facts we must make work for us. Rather than resisting the space trade's offer, let us circulate widely the rumors that space traders, aware of our long, fruitless struggle on this planet, are arranging to transport us to a land of milk and honey, a virtual paradise. <clears throat> He's trying to do some reverse psychology. Remember what most whites are so <clears throat> remember most whites are so jealous of their race-based <clears throat> prerogatives that they oppose affirmative action, even though many of those programs would remove barriers. <clears throat> that exclude whites as well as blacks. Can we not expect such whites notwithstanding even the impressive benefits offered by the space traders to go all out to prevent blacks from gaining access to an extraterrestrial New Jerusalem? Although you are planning to litigate against the trade on the grounds that it is illegal discrimination to limit it to black people, mark my words, our milk and honey story <clears throat> will inspire whites to institute such litigation on the grounds that limiting the space traders offer to black people is unconstitutional discrimination against whites. Some people say we should do this with gun laws. Let's let all black people get registered guns and then the gun laws will be much different. Um, they'll make it harder for you to get guns. Many of you have charged that I have become expert at manipulating white people for personal gain. 
Although profit has not in fact motivated <clears throat> my actions, I certainly have learned to understand how whites think on racial issues. On that knowledge, I am willing to wage my survival and that of my family. I urge you to do the same. This strategy is, however, risky. Our only hope. The murmurs had subsided into stony silence by the time Go Lightly left the podium. <clears throat> Does anyone care to respond to Professor Go Lightly's suggestion? Um, we'll end it there. And I mean, what can you say? It is, it is something else. Um, reverse race psychology. That's what it is. Um, or tricking racist. That's what he's trying to do. And it might be clever, but I, you know, if nothing's going to work, I don't think. Because like he said, there's so many people that want us dead and gone, including a lot of black people too, that there's really nothing you can do. You're doomed. And um, with everything that's going on, that's really one of the issues that's going on, that's happening here. The American black, should we continue to exist or not? And a lot of American blacks don't even want to continue to exist as American black. Because all they see is themselves as slaves. They don't see Harriet Tubman. They don't see Frederick Douglass. They don't see Benjamin Banneker. They don't see uh, uh, Prince Hall. They don't see, they don't see any of those people. You know, they see a little bit of Malcolm. They see a little bit of Martin Luther King. And even with that, they say, well, those people got assassinated. But they don't see that people live. They don't see Du Bois. They don't see uh, Mary McLeod Bethune. They don't see Fannie Lou Hammond. They don't see these people as what we could be. They only see Martin Malcolm, who were assassinated, and slaves. And that's why I contend, or I say, that most black people in the United States are insane. Because they blocked out a whole section of our reality and they're trying to function on that so um i thank you for your support until next time take care of your mind take care of your body and be safe